How dare he speculate about our nation's blood that must be spilled. Joining me now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, the administration announced another aid package today, $175 million in arms and equipment, and they want billions more, of course, and they're trying to beg Congress for it. But if Europe is so threatened, why is Europe not poning up the money here? Yeah, exactly right. I mean, this is in Europe's backyard. This is a European issue first and foremost, and we need to be honest with them, Laura, that it's time for the Europeans to take the lead on defense of their own continent, not least because we need to look to China, who's our biggest overseas threat, and we need to secure our own southern border. And that brings me to my biggest beef here, which is that we don't seem to have any money to do anything for Americans. I mean, we can't secure our border. We can't see to any of our national security imperatives, but yet we have unlimited money, apparently, according to Joe Biden, for Ukraine. It's crazy. It's exactly backwards. Well, uh, I guess late today, early tonight um, in Congress, they blocked aid to Israel and Ukraine because that's tied together over this border um, dispute, trying to tie it all together in one package. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, here's the thing. We should have passed aid to Israel a long time ago. I mean, our ally Israel is, is fighting for their existence. We should have done that immediately. But the Biden administration doesn't really care about Israel aid. That's the bottom line, just like they don't really care about the border. They put those things together with Ukraine, which is their top priority, apparently over everything else. So, Laura, the border is wide open. We had a record number of terrorists on the terrorist watch list come across the border last year. And that's just the ones that we know about. And yet, what's the administration want? More money for Ukraine. It's Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. And I can just tell you, I, for one, am not going to vote for a dime more for Ukraine until the United States security, our border security, is actually made whole and made right. Yeah, the Ukraine thing is, it's over. They know it's over. They, they're treating it as a political liability and that they're trying to manage it. To me, it's obvious. Senator, um, your colleague, Senator Schumer, decided to drop a conservative president's name to justify his position, watch. It would be an insult to our Ukrainian friends who are fighting their lives against Russian autocracy and could go down as a major turning point where the West didn't live up to its responsibilities. Ronald Reagan would be rolling in his grave, rolling in his grave, if he saw his own party let Vladimir Putin ro roll through Europe. Well, Senator, I work for President Reagan, but you, using Reagan? As a convincing argument, I must have missed the part when Ukraine was a member of NATO. Yeah, and this from the party that, as I distinctly remember, was pro-Gorbachev, pro-Soviet practically for decades. I mean, they criticize Reagan constantly. I mean, it's, this is just a joke. I mean, it's all a joke. Listen, you have Democrat senators who are saying that our southern border is just a domestic political consideration. Think about that, a domestic political consideration, as if the drugs coming across the border, Laura, aren't killing people in this country by the tens of thousands, as if the human trafficking and sex trafficking isn't totally out of control. I mean, it, it's outrageous. Our security is threatened right now on our border. They'd much rather spend money on Ukraine's border than our own. I say again, it is exactly backwards. It's insane. Have you ever heard Senator Schumer as exercised about America's security in our southern border? As, as he is about Ukraine, or, or frankly, Mitch McConnell, your colleague. I, I've never heard them in any way as passionate as they are about Ukraine, about the United States. Oh, no to, no to both. I mean, absolutely not. And listen, one of the reasons we're in the predicament we're in now is Republican leadership has been happy to go along with the president and shovel money to Ukraine with no strings attached, no accountability, no oversight whatsoever. We are now, our, our border is wide open. We've got no understanding of how our money's been spent in Ukraine, and they're begging for more. So you bet. I mean, the congressional leadership of both parties is to blame here, along with the president. And that's why it's time to say no. It's time to make no American priorities the true priority here. Yeah, Senator, thank you so much. Great to see you tonight.